think it's leading to more homicides and drug overdoses, which is why to make more space, they brought in this refrigerated trailer to hold more bodies. Down in the basement of the medical examiner's office, we got a look inside their jam-packed cooler where body bags fill nearly every inch. Overdoses are at a record number, homicides at record numbers, yep. autopsies at record numbers. So you are at a crisis level right now. Oh, I would say, yeah. Chief Medical Examiner Dr. Brian Peterson says they're in desperate need of more space. There have been times where we've told people, you know, hold this body at the hospital. We have no place to put them. Dr. Peterson says they are so overrun, they actually had to bring in this refrigeration truck, which can hold an additional 30 bodies. Peterson says the number of fentanyl overdose deaths and homicides are on track to surpass 2019 numbers. He believes the pandemic is partly to blame. These things are driving people to despair, to homicide, to drugs, etc. So that's where we've seen the increase in cases. It's not like there's been a huge rush of virus deaths. It's been virus activity related death. And that's what's overwhelming us now, just huge numbers. There are plans for a new multi-million dollar forensic science building on the Freighter campus, three times bigger than their current building. It was slated for next year, but Peterson says that doesn't help their situation now. It's just hard, but we're doing it. You know, we, we owe that to the community, right? I mean, people are waiting for these results. Insurance companies, families, grieving, moving on. So many layers to the pandemic here. Well, Hillary, with the huge increase in volume, do the medical examiners say it's causing a delay in results? Well, Joyce, surprisingly, no, Dr. Peterson says the turnaround time for autopsy results pretty much remains the same. That is in part thanks to some new toxicology equipment they have here in their lab. Joyce.